Hi everyone, <clears throat> for today's video I'm going to be using this stencil by Mike Deacon Art um, and if you go to his website www.mikedeaconart.com and so I've got that, I've got a couple of old paint brushes, I've got the word art and I've got a palette, artist palette. So that is what I'm going to be creating with today. So turn you to overhead and we'll make a start. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do, uh, I'll just show you the products that I'm going to be using. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be using Imagination Crafts Structure Paste. <coughs> white gesso and I'm going to use uh, I'm going to do kind of like uh, rusty patinas so I'm going to use their, their rusty patina imagination crafts a rusty patina products and I've got duck egg I've got rustique and I've got verdigris I'm using some of the art stones <coughs> excuse me I'm going to make um, a spritz with the uh, Starlight's Orange Oxide. So I'm going to do that. And I've got some stones as well, some Marty stones. And um, so first thing that I want to do, and I'm going to have to leave it. So I thought, well, if I do it now, I can go and have some lunch and come back and, and you know, kind of get it done sort of thing. So I'm going to use this splat um, and I'm going to kind of, I'm going to have quite a few splats on here but in the splats I'm going to use, th throw some art stones in so I need it to be really bone dry um, so I thought well if I do this and then I can, once that's done I can paint it and I think I might go straight in with the rusty patina and not bother with the gesso, but I'll, I'll see that. So um, the structure paste, and I've got my spatula, and always take some on the back of your your knife, and then just spread it. I'm doing quite a a good layer. Excess on. And I'll put that in a bowl of soapy water and wash it. So what I want to do, while that's wet, that structure paste is wet, what I'm going to do is, right, I've got a box and I'm going to sprinkle on, on one, in one box I'm going to Can you see what I've done? So I know they're them, and then what I'll do is, in fact I might just do the little ones, yeah I won't use them, the, I'll, 
it's just so right I'm going to leave that to dry and um, so I've got the texture uh, I'm going to leave it to dry now and um, once it's dry I'll come back and we'll go on so I can put these back in my little pot So get, I want to get plenty of texture so while I'm waiting what I'll do is I'll quickly paint this with patina as you can see it's a well loved pot there's hardly any left so so I can pop that to one side that's done and then I will dry brush over that um, so I will um, I'm going to go and have some lunch I think and I'll see you all later bye for now okie pokey so I've had a nice lunch and now that's all dry so first off I'm going to do the back and we're going to give it a quick cover with the rusty patina so while I do this I'm going to fast forward and uh, what am I going to do? Fast forward and play some music, sorry. <laughs> Right, so there's that done um, and I'm just going to give it a quick oh, well, I'm going to give it a blast now with the heat gun I just need to do that there right so that's that done so I'm having it like that and then I've got this art which is going to go there I'm not sure yet but I definitely know my paint brushes are going to go there right so I 
I've got my glue gun but before I put anything down on it first off I'm going to give everything a dry brush with this rusty patina so I've got my, my block and I'm going to put a bit on here on my block and I need a, a brush, a brush, a brush. So there we are. I've got a brush. And I'm just going to dry brush over the whole. See if I can take some of it off. There we are. Yeah. So that's the back, so that's the front. And now I'm just gonna leave that there for the time being. You know, if I had brains, I'd be dangerous. Right, so I'm just going to... Dry brush onto the word art. So there we go. Right, so that's that colour finished. Right, I'm going to make a spray. with my oxide, orange oxide. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit into here. I think I'll just put a little bit more. Add some water. don't want too much water. Might be a good idea if I just tipped it in. I'll be here all day. There we go, that's enough. So I've got... And this will make, once it's once I spritz this onto here, you know what the way rustle, rust kind of has that like um, shiny um, look to it? Well, this is what this will do to it. This will give that, that you know, that kind of sheen. So, right, first thing I want to do is put my paintbrush on. To dry brush, I'm going to use the bare degree now, and I'm going to dry brush with this. So I'll just take that block over a minute. I just want a darker green, the bare degree, and I've only got a little bit of it. And I'll just, and I'm just going to go over the splats. 
not the whole of it, just the splats and the paintbrush. So that they will make, because I use the duck egg on the background as well as on there. But I'm just using the verdigris on the on the actual splats themselves just to show the texture. Make them pop away from the actual background. See it all kind of pops up now. Just go around the edges as well. Whoops. There we go. I'm really pleased how that's turned out. So there for washing goes in there. And last but not least, what I want to do is I'm going to just gently spritz. And once it's dry, you will see what I mean. There we go. Tilt it, you can just see. So that's my art um, project for today. Um, I just want to show you the other one that I did. Can you see with this one? I've used black and a metallic whereas with this one I've gone for the rusty effect so you know kind of I'm really pleased with how they've both turned out yeah I've used brushes and but I've done it totally different so I wanted to just show you you know the difference in the two but this one is my fave because I love I just love rusty patinas and I love that kind of it's got a steampunky feel to it without having cogs and you know all the other um, embellishments that go with steampunk this is just right up my street and I love it I never know one lucky pe person might be win that or something else so don't forget to comment, um, thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends and uh, thank you all once again for watching today and um, until next time, happy crafting everybody, bye bye for now.